what extent this is true it's this is it a hundred percent true mm-hmm. but not all most uh, most, <laughs> most <laughs> majority you think so honestly don't yeah come on, come on. especially not majority come on like okay. now there's let four me, of us here and let me most explain most 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 yeah, yeah it, it's up. not really that true. Like, <laughs> when I someone is in <laughs> the Show me, show me, I'm gonna follow you. Give a tie and with deep action energy. Show me, show me, I'm gonna follow you. Give a tie and with deep pull. You love it, baby. Come for me. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Ahli Shabab. Today we'll be sharing with you guys assumptions and versus reality of your side yeah um yes so actually we were a bit undecided on the topic we wanted to do for this video so we decided maybe we could start with something simple but also to debunk myths could you call it myths and misconceptions yeah misconceptions <laughs> about usio as a school and also the students that attend so um with me we have decided as a group we have decided like a couple of assumptions which we're going to deal with <laughs> i guess today so without further ado we'd like to start with our first assumption which is that students from usiu are bougie spoiled kids before a disclaimer these are not us saying like we're not saying that USIU kids are spoiled or anything like that. These are just assumptions we have gathered from people outside and what they think about students at USIU. Yeah. Perhaps people who want to join or people who are just curious. You know, curiosity is a normal human thing. Yeah. So don't go around having it stuck in your mind that yeah. students from USIU. Anyway, we're here students. to clarify on that. So. Yeah, exactly. That's the, we're here to clarify on that. So the first assumption, like I said, was that students from USIU are bougie and spoiled. Is that how true? To what extent is that true? Um, um, or not? For me, or <laughs> for okay. You. According to me, um, as she said, people just assume that that's what they are. Yeah. But it's actually not true because. And you might find like most of these people like, they haven't met but they just hear of other people saying so and then they just conclude and be like you say you kids are spoiled or they're bougie and stuff but we can say know. few few are yeah. bougie but not everyone is bougie mm-hmm. i don't know what how do you define bougie though mm-hmm. and i feel like when people assume this like you say kids are bougie you know you look at the appearance and you judge by the outward yeah. so maybe so someone can have a car to school in the gym and like that's a bougie kid you know but you get to talk to people you know beyond their looks you find out they're not they're not stuck up yeah you find them judging people them are, like wrongly yeah people and are chilled in USA. you say i've talked to many who people consider bougie and they're humble they're nice people it's just the appearance and it's know. just there yeah. Yeah. and some people like so. pretending they are not bougie but yeah. they just like to pretend that they are because of their friends. Could you say it's based maybe if you said outward appearance, so the way someone dresses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But is bougie a bad thing or a good thing? Because it's it's a good thing. It's a good Why thing. It's not a bad thing, it's not negative. Is it like it's just like, like buying expensive things, having yeah, nice. the latest cars and all that. Like yeah. For, for it's a it's different from, from being spoiled. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah I it's different from two, yeah. two different yeah. things. Yeah. And so okay. quiet. But so yeah, just to right? Yeah. What about spoiled? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, we have spoiled kids. <laughs> they eat in Java. Okay. No, no. Have you tried Java? I'm not spoiled. 
what exactly is what does okay for sport let me say in terms of racing you like like let me say a mini skirt and let me say a crop top and you walk into school and some people yeah. see that as being point. point you see and then because some schools don't allow yeah they don't allow that. that but here yeah, it's <laughs> free like no dressing i also feel like spoiling spoilt is when you undermine other people yeah you know we have like Okay, okay spoils is literally when you are well off and you think everyone else is the same you know you, and then you like yeah how you to, treat people you yeah. like if someone tells you about how they are and like sure, their sure. financial thing and you'll be like oh my god you don't have that that's, yeah, being yeah, that's being spoiled and i don't think we're spoiled really because some are spoiled if uh, they're there they're very clear and that yeah come like you can come um, like most of them actually don't show out but if you look for you look for them to <laughs> show them to you. Yeah, you don't just yeah. come across someone. And then just come out and show all my personalities to someone. Yeah, but if you look for me, I'll show you. Oh my God! <laughs> now this point, so this point speaking. Are speaking up. <laughs> yeah. no, no. Like I'm spoiled, but I don't show you un- unless you come and yeah. I don't know. You want look to meet the spoiled part. Trying to show attitude. Yes. Attitude, yeah. Could it depend on how you were brought up to? Because you know, yeah. some Definitely. people, if you were brought up in a household so where you were like, the up. things that you buy, yeah, it's normal for you to buy things at a high cost. Like that's your normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you have people from different backgrounds. Yeah. So like, if someone from maybe let's say a middle class background comes and you're someone from a bit higher, someone might think your spending range is above, mm-hmm. and yeah. you come to the conclusion that you're spoiled when you find. Yeah, actually, I think being spoiled is someone with no empathy, someone who doesn't like, yeah, who doesn't yeah. understand other people's yeah. whatever because how they were brought up. Yeah, like, just because you're yeah, ignorant, like, yeah. like yeah. you, you maybe somebody's so low, like you don't compare yourself because you spend so much, mm-hmm. and then the other person is so low, and you be like, no, you're not of my level, something. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. someone who doesn't it. try to understand. And then you disrespect others. and. Mm-hmm. But it's it's really hard to find such like, people in your side. Yeah, people are really that, kind. Yeah, I haven't found really such yet. And that's one thing. Actually, you say okay. We are nice. You say students like they are. Most of them like are nice. Like you might first fear someone be like, no, I don't want to talk to so and so because they are like this. But when you approach them, that's actually two different things. Like what yeah. you thought of them is not what you're going to like see yeah. or what they're going to, to apply or show you. Yeah. So yeah. Moral of the story: Don't judge based on appearance. Mm-hmm. So, so don't judge the approach the person. Cover. Yeah. <laughs> if they shut you down, then yeah, you can judge them then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, Ray. Thank you guys for that. Uh, we'll move on to our second assumption, which is that students from USIU fake accents. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. <laughs> And we want to know to what extent this is true. It's this is it a hundred percent true, mm-hmm. but not all. Most, uh, most, <laughs> most <laughs> majority. You think so? Honestly, don't yeah. come across. Especially, not majority. Come on, like okay. now there's let four me, of us here. And let me not explain you exactly. Most. Are you sure? Not a big accent. We are four. We are four, yeah. we are four right now, you. and none of us fakes accent, right? So. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's not really that true. Like, <laughs> when someone is in class and learn to answer a question, there's always that one person who feels that always the classroom. Yeah. 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 It's always the classroom. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. But it's true. We fake accents sometimes. Which one? Who? Are you still there? Are you still getting yourself from the? Okay, you are you in an international school? Like we have people with different accents. Like I don't, I don't think I fake accent. Like yeah, you do. Okay, because. I stayed in an Arabic country, so yeah, that, yeah. and Not then when the R comes out, people think maybe uh, you can tell. And then yeah. like yeah. that's how you speak. Yeah, um, for me, okay, I've not crossed any. Okay, leave I've crossed. You have not. Crossed um, them. okay, there are these. Okay, let me show you something. Like, okay, it's kind of like you know when you try to show off and trying to look nice and everything. Yeah. yeah. But anyways. Um, I've only come across my friends and they don't do that. So those ones are out of my life. I don't find them, so they're out. For me, I don't yeah. know. I feel like USAE is a diverse university yeah, and most sure. of the students come from abroad. So we'll, some people would like to impress them with their accent. Mm-hmm. But it's not working, guys. Stop it. 
<laughs> as a matter of fact in yeah. usa we have the worst accents like you'll hear and the best ones and just like from everywhere okay, yeah, all, different like yeah. some of them yeah. even sound funny like some of us don't know english <laughs> yeah, we'll it's it's so just like, it's interesting yeah, it's and then you're saying like accents you mean like are people because they're trying to fake like english accents or yeah like, yeah english. 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 english and remember we have about i don't know 60 how many I don't know. Is it fifty something countries? So, yeah, like, so, like, yeah. And we have different accents, so. So yeah. you say they should embrace Pretty much. their natural accent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like so, an accent is not a big deal, is it? It's yeah, not it doesn't measure your intelligence. See, you also mentioned the school thing. He said if someone is asked a question in class, they feel pressured to use an accent. Do you think perhaps the teachers also have accents? Some do, few, so, very few. Teacher, I won't yeah, say the name, but. Same, I think my first time is So like, <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> not the lecture. Yeah, you see, I yeah, feel yeah, like people yeah. think, people think accent measure. It's a cool thing. Yeah. Like, you no, know, they see you as you know, intelligent. intelligent. Yeah. Okay, the that's, thing that's is, why they do that. you know, how you sound like, people will think of you differently, yeah. depending on how you sound, whether we like it or not. Sure. That's why people try to fake it to look in a certain way, which they're not, because so like, they if I sound good, image. people think maybe I'm smart, yeah. I'm rich, I'm yeah. wealthy, I don't know all those stuff. And if you sound like, you know, local, <laughs> I don't know, should I say that? No, yeah, if, you, yeah. if you sound <laughs> ordinary, like, just like someone else, no one will think that much of you. So we feel this pressure to, yes. I don't know, yeah, like, you know. So, so you fake it a little bit, a little what bit. Kind of, what, what, <laughs> what, what advice I know. or what tips would you like to give people who would like to sound, let's say, not necessarily change their accent, mm. but sound... Yeah, you mentioned it's about how you, you sound. Should, you should practice, yes. Better. Okay, if you, can, if you can fake an accent and be yeah. good at it, oh, there's nothing wrong with and that. Trust me, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're trying to fake, fake it in a good way. Like, I know, like, <laughs> it's not real. But <laughs> like, so so again, I feel like, like African accent. It is okay. Yeah, yeah it's like, it is actually. Accents, okay, actually it's this. I know, but anyway, like you just, just do what you like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's do what you like. Just articulate it well. Like when you're speaking your local language, you don't fake it. Yeah, I you know. fake the accent when you're speaking. Like. Ah, pana. <laughs> 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 anyway, you know? try to fake Swahili. But See, actually, you know, they actually have this thing of you say you can students like their Swahili and stuff. They they change like. Yeah, <laughs> because of that, that, one, that one comes naturally. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. The thing is, we are not we are not all East Africans. And we're we're not, not from countries that don't speak Swahili. 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 Right. So when we learn it, like it doesn't that come accent. like the Swahili yeah. they know. Yeah. So when you speak like that, they'll be like, "Oh my God, USA!" <laughs> Literally, like, I'll be like, "Yeah, that's USA." You can see, be like, "No, that's me, who is not a Kenyan or any East yeah. African." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like in my country, yeah. we don't speak Swahili. I just learned it. Didn't and up speaking Swahili. They can tell. Them, and then there was like, also I've been here for a while and when I was communicating with someone in Kiswahili they were like, Are you can you're not Kenyan yeah? I was like, No and the, I was like, How did you know? Your Kiswahili doesn't sound like the Kenyan one, it doesn't sound it can never be original. But, but anyway, you grew up here, I thought maybe I know, it would be the same. I also thought the same. Well, she speaks Arabic and English, like majority of the time. Oh, she, mostly so she speaks perfect. English and yeah. English okay, yeah. here, yeah. that's what they speak yeah. usually, English yeah. and Swahili. Yeah. So and also like, the high school events were also spoke a lot of English. So you yeah. have less sounds. Yeah, so if you fake it, it's okay. If you don't fake, fake it, it's fine. It but if someone tries to twerk, <laughs> just congratulate them or tell them. Yeah, but we don't fake it. It's just how it comes out. It just like, comes out. It's just few nice. few just just Okay, for Swahili, <laughs> for English, we do sometimes. <laughs> But like you relax, yeah. but also people, but like, it depends on who you speak to, like when you find name, you say a person who speaks like that. Okay. <laughs> Do you know, know, the way you speak changes. Yes. According to the mouth. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the we way. can talk. Oh. <laughs> because because of what you talk like people, like, people, like, let me say, in a formal way, or you yeah. meet someone who is, like, oh, yes, yes, I know, if you like, you try to. even the vocabulary, <laughs> the ones that you buried, that you never used, just comes no, up no. like, hey. <laughs> yeah, but so. it's yeah, but accent could probably not only mean English. Maybe some people are stating the Swahili thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you're in Kenya and you, if you're a foreigner and you're in Kenya, speaking English is not necessarily a very advisable thing. Cause one, <laughs> when you go, when you go out. When you're in public, on, yeah. on transport, on a matatu, are you going to go there and speak English? Obviously not. And allow yourself to anyone on a matatu? They will overcharge you. 
the overcharge. But exactly. if you know the place, you or when you're it. shopping, but like when you like you mentioned, most people here are foreigners. Foreigners so are they, 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 here. Yeah. <laughs> so when they're speaking in Swahili to someone outside, their their accent comes out. Then they start assuming that oh, because you're from here, so you oh, and you're faking your Swahili or you're using an accent. Yeah, I Swahili. think they need to understand in your say they are not only Kenyans. Exactly. So they should not make fun. Of the Kenyans yeah, they are there. <laughs> you know, like yeah. sometimes we influence them a yeah. little bit, a little bit. <laughs> so they shouldn't generalize and assume yeah. that all yeah. students in Kenya are Kenyans. Like they're trying to learn the language, mm -hmm. so at least someone should appreciate that yeah. to an extent. And so I think it's a nice language. Very, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it. very easy yeah, to learn. But learning it, okay. I've been here for quite some time, but I didn't learn Swahili yet. So you're not putting your heart into it. If you yeah, and I'm, and I'm surrounded with these fellas, like, <laughs> so we just speak English, English, oh, oh, so English, and I don't know. Anyways, guys. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. oh my goodness. <laughs> point we have is actually quite related to what we've been talking about, the yeah. accent thing. Because due to that, many people assume that USAE kids do not know how to bargain. This comes down oh, to yeah. the whole English and Swahili <laughs> and accent thing. So it's kind of related. Tell us like I bargain in English high bargaining power, like you don't joke around with me. You cannot overcharge me no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> like, Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. But but you see, you know, okay, the thing is, if you're going to buy something, you definitely know that the exactly. price range might yeah. be between this and this. Yeah. And when they say to it, like, come on, you know that, nah, ain't yeah. paying for this. But so you try what if you love it? So. That's if you know the price. You you know know that sure. If you don't know the price, there's a range. That's what I say. There's a range that, you know, this thing might be from this to this, right? You don't know the exact price, but then it's in between. The range if they tell you that it's more than this, you know, you have to most of the time bring the price you. down. Yeah, like even though they agree, you feel cheated still because you think <laughs> you're you don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah. Like you yeah. say that you ask for the price, obviously, then they'll tell you a price which is way higher. So yeah. when you try to make yeah. again to somewhere, it's yeah. still and you cannot know price ranges. Yeah, for it's still like not the yeah. exact price. Yeah. So even though you accept, like that price, it's, price, it's, it's price. way like more than what you were supposed to give. So we know how to bargain. It depends on okay. where you <laughs> I know how to bargain. Let me I don't say so. It depends on it. I don't think it has anything to do whether I know English or Kiswahili in the mm. country because I know Kiswahili but I can't begin to save my life it's so hard, I find it difficult she I gives up like, yeah, I give yeah. up easily because I can't keep on pushing and you want that hundred thing. shillings yeah, I can't keep on pushing and and push. Push. we'll fight <laughs> just, to, just to remove that 50, 50 shillings it depends on what you to shopping you know like foreigners when you go to buy something for the first time, you're converting it in your head into, into the dollars. Currency. Like, you be like, yeah. exactly. So you can convert it, not dollars. Necessarily. Yeah, they, they, that's they, what, <laughs> come on, is that what to oh, convert it? The to? final conversion is back to your local Brown. currency. I don't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, hey, I convert yeah, it to dollars. You're just, just trying to buy a shoe and you do all that math in your head. Yes. You can do that in You can actually have to convert it back to You convert it to dollars. And how do you do it to pounds? I convert it into you have to yeah. convert it to dollars then, then pounds. Okay, even or in my country I convert price of things into dollars. So really? Why? I think oh. I don't know. I just feel like it's Oh Miss Dollar. No! Bro. Okay. <laughs> it's the I I don't know. Okay, it's just it's the main thing for exchange the whole world uses, right? I don't no. know what yeah, you call it. It's, 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 the, it's the hard and, and for us, it's our, the hard our currency is not so stable, so you cannot just be. Yes, but this but one, cannot, that's why I convert yeah, it into dollars. Me too, I can't like dollar, no? I don't that's know. why whenever you that's hear right. the price of something, convert it to dollars. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. And then yeah, see okay, that. Yeah, because you can convert it easily back to you. So that you understand how expensive And also, a tip you should take someone with you, someone who knows Nairobi, especially if you're new. The country, mm. yeah, definitely. You'll be robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, we should, we should have a video where we talk about our scams. We have so many. Oh have been scams so many. We now. It's not. It can be. Oh my god! It will find. Hey, I've never been scammed really. Like I've yet. Been attempted. Your phone has never been stolen. No, yeah, my phone has never attempted. been stolen. Hey, Nairobi. Sarah. When? That before you bought this one, it's Sarah. it's with Lucy. My phone 
is not that true. You. Hey. Okay. I just said Sarah. And then Lucy went back to Sarah. She was my like, phone, this is Lucy. My phone has never been stolen in Nairobi. Like, it's nah, really I'm just too careful. It's, 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 it's yeah. this one, yeah. this one, like, can now, but what? We have, like, different like, how do they steal? Like, how? Yeah. She, she went to the club. club. Yes. Just come back and defend it. She went to club. Mastermind. Jemima went to club. No, I didn't. If your mom sees this, <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. She didn't. She was so but you know, like we had, like in our group, most of us had this experience of, I don't know, yeah. being robbed and everything. Just it's only me, Nancy, and Martha. My phone was stolen from my hand in the car in Kampala. <laughs> I don't know, but Kampala. Hey, you don't joke that's with Uganda. Oh, so hey. oh and there's guys. Thieves are everywhere. Basically. I know. I left this Kampala that morning. <laughs> Anyways, so it's our so final funny. assumption, finally, um, is guys, when I heard this one personally, I was shocked. You know, literally, like, this, the assumption is that there's a Java house at USIU. Um, I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but I have heard from these guys. I mean, confirm. You have right seen now. it, but you just didn't pay attention. I have not seen it. <laughs> yeah. You went no, to our well, student center you during you the one yeah. Yeah. That's Java house. Yeah. <laughs> The sun, mm-hmm. like well, the face, and yeah. there is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but you I didn't pay attention. She didn't I think pay attention. I was focused on yeah, the lifts and trying to find the place because I. Yeah, the thing that attracted me was the lifts, not the drama. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what was important was upstairs, and the like. Yeah. And the lift was my she way was to go. She was attending there. <laughs> and she was in a hurry. They yeah. had yeah. culture. Like the, the, the cultural food thing. And the food finished. No, yeah. you ate good food. I did. Food was was it the day for co- no, it was no, it was out to the news Oh, yeah, it finished. Chicken. I didn't even eat oh, it. Put like this. There was kudra, yes. Kiss right in town. I had to get Angelo. I ate even kudra. Like, All right. I said for you. Yeah, so we yes, we have Java House at Trace, are you? Literally, guys. Yeah, we so, do. So, no, I shouldn't say that. If you're planning on going to USIU, you know there's a Java House close by. You don't have to go there to Tiara. Just yeah. go to school. Okay. But it's only a certain group of people that go to Java. What the French you know? Everyone goes to Java. Alright. Anyway, so oh my guys, <laughs> before, uh, <laughs> anyways, thank you. <laughs> Guys, this time is literally every time we can't be serious to save our lives. You never get out, but okay. You get out. Cut. No, no, over half the editing. Oh, please. Do you mean the blue person? I know. They didn't hear anything. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so that's it. yeah, this is it for the video. Do you guys have any ending remark, Jemima? Any ending remarks? Anything to finish off? Nothing uh-huh. you'd like to tell our audience about USIU? We'd like you guys to join us. Mm-hmm. Come join USIU. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I it's know. It's expensive. It's a, like, you experience have, so many cultures. We have uh, uh, scholarship programs you can apply. Mastercard Foundation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guys, but those scholarships are not only. And it's your fully covered. You can't really yeah, it. it's not that. It's, it's not, not necessarily about your financial background. They also merit scholarships, right? Yeah. So, For also sport, people. Sport. So, yeah, you you and you, it's a nice place. Like yeah. you have diverse it's nice. cultures. Yeah. It's not as and you'll meet school. so many people. Nice ones. To be honest, people this are issue so of nice. saying that so nice. oh, USIU is a bad school. Once you take your child there, they start doing drugs. Yes, oh. I was told that actually. Yeah. Yeah. Like and I was really told that USIU that is not good. Yeah. It's yeah. like nice kids university. get spoiled and Same all those things. Like before I joined. But so we just have this the assumption. It's just yeah, yeah. And by the way, life in life studying at USIU is quite affordable because it's in Raisambu. Yeah, Raisambu, Raisambu is, is one of the most affordable places places in Nairobi, especially for students yeah. or people who are who are starting out at life. Yeah. So like that's like a bonus <coughs> to join yeah. the school. Yeah. Come and join. Yeah. It's interesting. It's fun. If you see us, please say hi to us. To us. I know, and if, if you have any questions, you can comment below yeah. and let us know. We, we can you see us in let the you next know. video. If you like a tour of our school, please comment down below. We'll give you guys a tour. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to join, come. Yeah. You're welcome. See, we are welcoming.
Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, thank you for thank joining you. us today. Peace. Peace. Thanks for watching. Thank you have come to the end of our video. Mm -hmm. And subscribe, share, comment down below. And like Everything will be socials. up there. Follow us on our socials. Down here. Too. Yep. Or up. See you, in, see you in the next video. Bye. Stay tuned. Bye. 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 B